I'd like to say some things about the basic nature of the Genesis 10 project. The Genesis 10 project is actually a whole science which has never come into existence, which has yet to come into existence. This sometimes happens. I think a number of people believe that sciences have always been there. Well, they haven't. Science has been organized, and specific sciences have been organized at different times uh, because of a felt need in society. The Genesis 10 project has not yet come into existence as a science, although there have been a series of authors in the past, especially the 18th century, men such as Jacob Bryant and William Stukeley, who tried to bring this science into existence and tried in an, a fairly effective way at least to get the idea implanted. They didn't uh, succeed at the, at the work, but at least the idea was there. In my judgment, the Genesis 10 project has not succeeded for three reasons. The, the first, the spiritual, and then the empirical, and the mystical or poetic. There are three different reasons why this science has not come into existence. And perhaps, first of all, I should define what the, what the uh, science consists of. The Genesis 10 science is the full explanation of how we get from the family of Noah, eight persons who survived the flood, and were the nucleus of the world that now exists, genetically speaking, and in other ways, culturally speaking, linguistically speaking. How we get from that nuclear family of eight persons, four men and four women, to uh, the concrete record, the empirically evident record of the nations. How do we get from the family of Noah to the pharaohs of Egypt? How do we get from the family of Noah to... Uh, uh, to the Dravidian stock, the black stock of East India? How do we get from Noah to the first Kish order, the Sumerians? In detail, what was behind the Tower of Babel? What was the purpose of the Tower of Babel? When did the Tower of Babel occur in relation to other events? When did the sin of Ham in Genesis 9 occur in relation to other events? Why did Noah bless the Jehovah Elohim of Shem and not the El Shaddai of Shem, the El Olam of Shem, the El Elyon of Shem. Why is it that the Ural-Altaic stock of Eurasia have as their generic name for God a form of the name An or Anu, which is the heaven god of the sumer Akkadian pantheon, and so forth and so on. It's a whole immense, absolutely immense subject. I suppose you could say it's the fundamentalist version of anthropology or the fundamentalist version of archaeology or the fundamentalist version of a variety of other things, but really it isn't. It is a science that does not exist, and evangelical scholars have not brought it into exist existence, and for the most part they're not trying.